Damn. Out water, yeah. <laughs> getting out of the way of a other really big guy in pads flying at you. That's a whole other thing. Should that receptacle be a ground floor man? By new code, yes, but it wasn't installed after it was installed prior to the code changing. All right. So, so if you ever redid the bathroom. If you ever removed the wiring, if you took that outlet and moved it an inch or two one way or the other and moved the outlet, you're required to run that back ground pole, this circuit all the way back. Uh -huh. You could redo the whole bathroom, but leave that outlet right there and still not be required to change it. Oh, okay. How about that? It's a good upgrade. There's a whole paragraph in the report that will explain why you want to use them, <coughs> but you're not required in an older building. Um, we, we police the rules. The rule okay. is you don't have to change it. Okay. We always recommend it. Yeah. Um, and the reason you want to have it, it's within anywhere within six feet of a water source, so the one in the in the laundry room as well. Mm -hmm. um, you want to change those because the average cord for an extension cord, like for an appliance, is six feet. Right. So if you can plug it in and it'll reach a water source, that outlet needs to be DFI protected uh, by new code. This was built in the 80s, yeah. and that code didn't come into Egypt. effect yeah. in Pennsylvania until 2001. Yeah. Okay. So anything prior to 2001, construction. Yeah. So if they redid the kitchen and moved the outlets around, yeah. that would all have to be GFI. But because they're all original placement, they're all original hardware. So you can change the receptacle itself and just leave you it. Change the receptacle and, and you leave the, uh, the circuit because you don't know what, it's important. always best to change the outlet because you don't know where you are on the series. Right. Because this age of a building, this outlet doesn't mean that it's the beginning of the series. There could be two other outlets on the way yeah. here that are yeah. attached to this circuit. Yeah. But as soon as you GFI protect this one, you're protecting everything downstream, downstream. of this one. Um, the easiest and best protection is to change the breaker to a GFI breaker. Then everything on that circuit is protected. Yeah. Uh, the only downside to that is if you use a real high powered vacuum, yeah. um, they sometimes surge. So yeah. when it turns on, it'll shut off it'll everything on the circuit, really and that shuts off your TV. <laughs> and it happens to me And all your digital cars oh, really? have to be reset. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they even have newer um, breakers for bedrooms that are called arc faults to sense that arcing, that there's a broken extension cord. Those are even more sensitive than the ground fault ones. Really? Yeah. yeah. And that guaranteed, if you have a, a $350 and up vacuum, <laughs> you can't vacuum your bedroom. <laughs> Because it's going <laughs> to shut the power off. So an extension cord in the hallway is usually what we recommend for those folks that have, you know, a nice new home that's been built, built recently. They're yeah. going to have to. It's like an extension cord. Yeah. Uh, and we're, you know, tell the lady who does the vacuuming in the house, you know, if it's not well, you guys. Well, maybe the, the man does the vacuuming. <laughs> huh? Maybe the man does the vacuuming. Well, sometimes I do. <laughs> 